Yeah, no, let's do let's do blood specials. Fuck it. Because my whole thing was I didn't want to really decrease the damage of energy and plasma in case I pick up something nice for those. All right, now now we're now we rail guns. All right, what what kind of things do I have to craft? There's an ion beam. Uh oh yes, the ion beam sucks balls. Uh, this is a tier three weapon and it's it's fucking trash. Uh, but we'll probably make it anyways, just so, just so you can be disappointed with me. I mean, uh, it, we're a long ways up. It's like two and a half fucking thousand shit. And there we go. Here's railguns. Yeah. If you're asking if there's variety in the music, there really isn't. Kind of the same kind of pixely music. I, I don't even know if it's the same song. Actually, I literally can't tell. I mean, I, I'm okay with this music. It also uses a lot of ammo. But I could probably use this occasionally and fucking kill them. Alright, let's try this door. I mean, there's no difficulty uh, levels for this, uh, so what you're seeing is what you get. Uh, then again, I am just blasting everything with a railgun, so what do you really expect? I mean, here, you know what? To increase the difficulty, we can increase the FOV. Look at this. That's actually way too much FOV, to be honest. But, uh... I, don't know, I, can't, I had it at 90 before. I like 90. I mean, 100 isn't bad either, but the, the entire UI scales with it as well, which is kind of like, meh. That guy blew up. Oh yeah, these guys, these guys are like, I don't know, they, they blow up basically, they crash into you, I think. So you can tell it's like pixely graphics and stuff like that, I think it's fine, uh, I, I can't really complain much about the graphics. I guess there's a stylistic thing. The only thing is I can't tell what the fuck's going on half the time. What's on that? What, that's on the stuff before it expires. That, that's like mini round good guy. I like I like that plasma thing that I have that I'm just like rapid firing with because it's actually a really nice weapon. All right, flamethrower, no. Because you can, it has like either like one big shot or just you can rapid fire it too if you really want to. I mean, ideally, you want to keep both your weapons with different ammo supplies, so that, like, you can switch between them if you run out of one. Now, let me go. You know, I have so many rockets that I never use and will continue not using. Oh, did you just fucking absorb that, you piece of shit? Let's pick up some of this stuff. Oh, there's this is the guy. This is probably where all my fucking accuracy rating is going, because it doesn't do this thing. Alright, we can just use this immediately to repair. We don't need anything else. How many nanites are we up to? We're up to 822. That is a fair number of nanites. We actually want to go this way. I guess so. And I just kind of pick away and I go. I mean, what, what else do you do in like a procedurally generated game? I, I, I really like that word, so that's why I keep saying that. But... Oh, fuck. I know. He blew up. Okay. So that, that was an example of what happens when you're retarded and go right up to those guys. As the slow railgun ship. I mean, I guess I'll just use more nanites. Or, sorry, wait, it's not nanites. It's repair fuckers. That's what they're. I really should be revving more ships just to, just to show off. Because it's stupid and I want to show it. I don't know. You know, I, that's the one thing I don't I don't like is that they it, there's an entire mechanic around ramming, and I'm kind of like, why? I have, a, I have this perfectly beautiful ship, and oh, looks like we got another challenge part. Okay, that guy. Okay, th okay. This is this might be kind of tough right now. Good thing I have a fucking sprint thing. Okay, I actually have to try now. Oh wait, wait, I take I take twenty five percent less damage from my own projectiles. Oh fuck, there's a lot of okay, they were apparently all around these pillars. 
Alright, so I think I picked up the one where I take 25% less damage from my own projectiles. I, this is definitely new. I don't even know what I just picked up. I, I'm sure if you pause the video, you'll be able to <laughs> tell me what I got. Alright, because that is it. Alright, ooh, look, a riot impact rifle. Uh, uh inventory's full. Oh, those rooms are actually pretty nice, I, I have to say. I can't complain much. I mean, is there a place where I can see all the shit I got? Oh, here we go, yeah. You can, you can see it, uh, but I don't know what it is. Because uh, if I click it, it won't really tell me, so... Well, there's still Iron Beam, Smart Gun, and Concussion. Alright. I mean, you know what? I'm going to take this Riot Impact Rifle. Uh, because I'm a huge fan of Riot games, and I play uh, the Legend all the time. No, I'm just joking. Uh, no, it's more because... Uh, if I can make another railgun, that would be great, because then I could show off the iron cannon and not lose a railgun. Wouldn't that be just fancy? Uh, let's see. Okay, so this is not the way to go. So, I think we have to backtrack the fuck up. So, I know this is what he did. Was uh, One of the things I was going to do is I was going to complain about um, the backtracking in this game, because I was like... You go to the end and there's nothing, and then you gotta backtrack all the way over to wherever, and I went the wrong way. I'm totally mixed up. I can't tell where this thing is. Oh my god. Not that way. It's it's under me. It's beneath me. I, I, I keep looking at my map, and it's because it's literally outside this thing somewhere. Oh, here it is. That's why I was getting confused the fuck up. All right. I If I had spent like 30 seconds to actually, you know, look carefully at the walls obstructing my way, I probably would have realized that that's what I had to do. So we're, where are we actually trying to go? We're trying to go into there. Because there's, there's a route we didn't go. And I know I, I know I go there as if like, you know what the fuck I'm talking about. I want the right one. Okay, this one's a better one. The one I have already is the better one, I mean. Uh, yeah. Anyways, yeah, so they added the the mini-boss areas. I'm not actually, I, I'm not familiar with those. That, that was a recent addition. Uh, and I have to say, they've improved that a whole lot, uh, but they still need more to go, in my opinion. Because um, it's not, this is not a game I continuously would play over and over again. I'm playing it, and I want for you guys, and I mean, for my own sake, because I've done any video kind of shit in a long time, so... Oh fuck. So these guys blind you the fuck up. Uh, they're basically like little blinder guys. New enemy again. Uh, here's some more text I don't care to read. Uh, so they're kind of just bad as shit. What the fuck is this? I don't know what the fuck that is. I actually legit don't know. And it's gonna bother me for the rest of this episode. Uh, Alright, so... This is yet another dead end, and I see right there, like, through a wall or something, like, some part of another level. Uh, so, I, I guess we'll go over there. I guess that's fine. I mean, it's, as I said, procedurally generated. That word again. Alright. Well, there's nothing over here. Uh, yeah, it looks like we gotta go, like, through here. This is fucking strange. This is actually, I think, definitely one of the worst layouts I've ever had. Oh yeah, I remember this area now, and I didn't even go up there, did I? No, I did go up there. Okay, well, we never got done there. Alright, so, now I'm gonna complain. Um, how long was it? I'm basically at the beginning of the fucking game again. Well, beginning of the level, that is. Because of that, like, one thing. That's how long of a dead end that was. I mean, sure, we got a reward out of it, and... But... Did it really need to be that long? Holy shit. And that's the thing, I have no way of knowing until I explore it, so whatever. Okay, maybe I was wrong, because, uh... Nope, there's even <laughs> there's another entrance over there. <laughs> Apparently we didn't go back to the beginning f far enough. Right. Alright, so... there's Okay, we go back here. And, you see, you see right here? You see right here? This is where we started the... This is where we started the game. Now we, instead of going to the right, we go straight. Alright, uh, that's the, that's the dead end. So literally, just because at the beginning of the game, I took the wrong fork. Okay, that guy, that guy means business. 
Dude, stop stop dodging my railguns. Actually, I've never seen these guys so evasive before, and it's pissing me off. Um, oh, oh, look at this. We got a blue key, literally, right here. So if there's a blue door we didn't see, then... Uh, I'll show you what the blue door looks like when I come... Put that That's the blue door. So the blue key happened to spawn right beside the blue door. I mean, you know... I... This is the problem when you just randomly generate shit, is that you get things like this. It's like, it has to place it somewhere in level. In this seed in particular, it decided that the blue key should be right beside the blue door. Uh, and in that sense, that the game isn't very good. Alright, we just got a yellow key right there. Um, and the way you can see my keys is those MS, MS Paint looking squares in the top right of my HUD. Uh, like, in the actual like ship HUD there. So now I have a yellow key card. Uh, I don't need that. I mean, they, they drop ammo and stuff for me. I mean, you know, I think I think this is a really good seed to kind of showcase the problems I have with this game. You know, I mean, when when if you're a big Descent fan, uh, fan, which you know, um, you should, or else you're literally Hitler. I don't know why I can see this through the thing. Okay, it's like a Razor Pulsar. I've already used Pulsars. You know, I'm gonna take a Hulling Missile just because I want to upgrade it into something. Do I have a do I have the ability to craft something? I can I can make a concussion uh, rocket as large splash and knockback. Uh, that sounds absolutely useless. I will not take it. I mean, we also haven't gotten really any good secondary weapons. This is also a blue door. Where's the yellow door? If there was one. I don't know. Anyways, um, you know, in theory, descent with a procedural generation sounded fucking awesome and in practice it was it's okay it was a good idea and I still think it's a good idea it just needs work because as I said we we still have a lot of shit that happens like that okay this is brutal laser which means I can make another railgun I think yep I can make another railgun so that means we can go get an ion beam I'm, I am now okay with getting them uh, there's another laser. What's my other laser here? A brutal one, and then this is a... Okay, the other laser is better. Alright, wait, is this a yellow door? Sorry, I actually want to know. To, I actually want to know. And this door just... Okay, yeah, this is the yellow door. So the yellow key was just simply on the way, not in that long-ass dead end. It was, in, like, literally on the way to the yellow door. Alright, and this is the other boss. So, these rooms are not really random in the slightest. Uh, I I actually literally, these bosses are actually my least favorite part. These little, like, things. And like th that was kind of stuck in the well awkwardly. Alright, now we have a standard engine with slightly more RAM. So, you know, uh, now we have more memory in our ship. That's a joke. It's, ra it's ramming damage. Um, Oh, our inventory is full. Well, we can just use this immediately. Okay, so does that actually construct into anything? No, it doesn't. Having two standard engines is not. Now, I, I should mention... Oh, actually, wait. I don't even have the other engine. I dropped it. Okay, let's just drop something else for this guy. Riot impact rifle. Which one's better? Okay, I, I don't really know what Riot really does, but we'll just drop it. Oh, shit. Apparently I was taking damage. Alright. Now, if you're wondering what the hell is shooting at me, it's actually the reactor core. Uh, but since since it can't move anywhere, it's actually a, a, it's a non-issue, really. Because it's just like, it's just, it's literally hitting like its own guys right there. Uh, and so I'm going to just go down here. But I guess I, I guess with the other standard engine I can't make anything, so I'm just going to drop it. I was hoping to actually make the iron cannon thing right now. I'm kind of just exploring around right now. Because let's let's actually do it with the boss just to see how fucking trash it is. Okay, I shouldn't do that actually, so I'm going to go back this way. I don't know why I'm killing these things. Let me make the iron cannon now. Uh, you know, I, I should really look at this. And, and no, the answer is no, I can't. Oops. Alright, so now we gotta face this guy here. He's annoying as shit. 
Because he just continuously fires at me. Even when he doesn't see me, he just shoots at me, kind of. And it becomes eventually an entire spam of, of this fucking crap. Like, I don't know. I'm just kind of firing a railgun and then at him. Like, this is a problem now with the graphics that I can't actually see what the fuck's going on. Like, I, I don't know why I would ever face this guy, like, head on. Because it just seems like a total waste of, like, resources. Okay, looks like he died and the screen is shaking a whole lot. I have screen shaking on low, by the way. I should mention that. Okay, so there's a cruel laser here. The laser that's into BDSM or something. That's why it's so cruel. Alright, uh, so now we can go make, I think, the ion cannon now and be disappointed. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. You guys ready? You guys ready? Alright, ion beam. Actually, maybe that's not as bad as I thought, but I think it's I think it's fairly inaccurate. I mean, there's, there's one that's really shit, the Spawnsman Railgun. Now, the Railgun, remember, is a 100% accurate weapon. So let's see what it does. All right, so here we can get Gung Ho again, Gambler. Nanite pickups are worth far more, but the spear fire faster. Probably not the best amount of thing uh, for a ship that depends, uh, that fires from range. So we're going to get Bull Legion. I don't really need to have my uh, my HP either, to be honest. All right, we're on sub-level 3 now. We renamed the game to sub-level 3. And the game appears to be... Okay, I was a little bit worried. My cursor changed as if it was crashing. Make sure it's like... Okay, alright. Alright, so... Now we have an iron cannon beam. This is one of the best weapons um, in the game, according to the game itself. It's a tier 3 weapon. So let's, let's see how good this is. Okay, doesn't really do anything. Oh, wait, fuck. It takes like a second to like start up, so it's actually really irritating. And then I can't see anything because the screen is shaking, so I am now officially tired of screen shaking. So I just turn it completely off. Because that's actually annoying me this shit out. And if it still is on, then I'm going to be really annoyed. Oh, there we go. That's much better. But I almost feel like it's cheating now because now it actually makes things so much more visible. Still really hard to aim. Dude, my accuracy is gonna be literally trash. I, okay, you know what? This isn't the worst thing in the world. I'm gonna say it now. All right, let's go. How many nanites do we have? We have we have none. Okay, literally zero. So there's something else that upgrades from the railgun that is actually gar really garbage. This is not actually that bad. I mean, it just has a little bit of a charge time, so you don't get that, you know, insta-hit bullshit from that you get from the railgun, but, you know. It's a pretty powerful weapon, though. It overheats a lot, too. It seems fairly inaccurate, though. That may just be me. Yeah, you can see it kind of moving around a little bit. I mean... Turning off the screen shake was literally a godsend because, I mean, I, I guess that's maybe why I complained about some of these weapons before. It, it's because they became so hard to see what the fuck you were doing that, you know, couldn't do anything. Unfortunately, you don't get the immersiveness, I guess. Um, if that is immersive. Okay, that guy's like literally blowing up and I just keep shooting at his ass. I'm gonna make another railgun though, don't worry. Just because, yeah. Cause maybe maybe I can find out what the other thing was that I made that was absolute trash, so. Now, the one problem I can see with this is that it's like a... I mean, it's a, it, it's a weapon that does require charging. I'm gonna just take that with me. Okay, what, what are we up to now, nanites? All right, 750 and I think we get the railgun. Again, for the second time. So I'm trying to now snipe these guys, and they, it doesn't look like it particularly goes very far. But it does a lot of damage. I do think my I do think it's gonna like compromise my accuracy, which actually doesn't do anything. 
It's mostly for bragging rights. Which is terrible, because I think the internet's judging me right now, because I'm making videos of video games. Alright. Uh, yeah, it does seem to... It actually, it is actually pretty, really nice. I now take everything I said back. I, I was pleasantly wrong about this weapon. Or, or I've never made it before. Either one. I just remember one of them being terrible. I think they constructed them two things, though. And one of them was bad. There's actually a minigun in this game, and I actually like the minigun. Uh, but, yeah, the smart gun is crap either. Oh, here's your minigun. There it is. We could make that. Well, let's do a, a, a rapid railgun now. Let's just do a regular railgun. Alright, so instead of riot laser. Alright, so now we have all the ranged weapons. Am I being attacked by something? I don't know. And the nice thing about this is that one of them is an energy weapon, and the other one is a bullet weapon. So, this is especially satisfying. Yeah, I can't tell when this guy's blowing up anymore. Alright, let's take the laser with us, actually, because we never know what kind of interesting things we'll make. I really want to show you good, like, good secondary weapons, but we actually have been really unlucky with finding those. Like, that actually was not my fault. All we found is, like, retarded concussion missiles, so... I mean, there's a, there's, um, there's another missile type, I forgot what it was called. Um, I used to make fun of it. Oh, it's a hurl, that's right. The hurls. That's what I called it. And basically would say, like, it makes you throw up because it's so terrible. Uh, but it's actually not that. You can make, you can make a homing hurl, which I think I removed one of the components for. So I don't think we'll be able to do it anyways. Is this fucking thing still alive? Great, I have 31 HP. Oh, you know, I should also mention that um, when my HP runs out, uh, then I, there's literally nothing I can do. Uh, like, it's just, the game's over. And these guys are firing homing bullets. That would explain why I was getting hit a lot. I forgot that they started doing that. Oh, there's Luki. So we're going to repair ourselves with uh, the infinite amount of shit that we have here. What's our nanites are not that great. Do we have a auto cannon ready? This is a cruel auto cannon. That does less damage. All right, fuck that thing, man. Oh, we should use this guy a little bit too. Actually, I have like a lot of fucking energy here. Like a lot. Oh my fucking asshole! Honestly. How dare they fire at me in tight corridors? It's against the rules. Oops. That wasn't very sniper accuracy. The little guys on the ground and these things. So I don't know why in this game the robots are trying to kill me. I assume if I actually read any of the story that I'd know, but... Who has time for that? Alright, here we have another impact rifle. Might as well take it. See what else we can make. More railguns. <laughs> I mean, everything kind of... It, whoops, I don't know why... I, okay, I fired at that because I thought this was something, but it really wasn't. Alright, and now we have a dangerous dumb fire. It's dangerous. You know, I've, I think I'm going to just make like one of these concussion missiles just because... Uh, I think you're all going to kill me if I'm not making anything else other than fucking railguns. This has been a good railgun game, though, I'll tell you that much. I found a lot of the railguns. Railguns, railguns, railguns. Okay, so we can just make this fucking... Uh, let's make a rapid minigun, though. Make that first. And we can we can make a... Go ah, Goss Cannon. I think that's the one. This is the other tier 3 weapon. Okay, so we can make... We can, we'll go for that uh, as one of our final weapons, but I'll show you what this one does. So we get some variety in this game for fucking change. Uh, Alright, so minigun. I actually like the minigun. It's actually accurate, uh, but not a, not a railgun accurate kind of thing. Okay, no, no, it's not. I lied. It's not accurate in the slightest. So, I have like two of these beam weapons kind of thing. This is a tier two weapon though, uh, so remember, it's, it's there's three tiers. This one's not that bad though. Okay, it's actually terrible. I need to get rid of this thing. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna make the Goss Cannon, though. Alright. Let's 
put on a uh, railgun again. I mean, Iron Cannon, I, I don't think I've ever made that one, but it's actually not that bad. Alright, we have a straight full haul, we don't need anything else. And more text. Alright. Now, I should mention there's one other annoying element to this game, which I don't really like. Uh, probably my least favorite part. Um, it's essentially copying a lot of the other roguelikes, which is... You don't actually... You can look on the wiki at all the different kinds of weapon and... Uh, like, hull combinations you can get. Uh... You can't actually get most of them. And the reason for that being is because some of them are unlocked through subsequent playthroughs. That guy just killed everything in this room, I don't know how. I fired one grenade in there and it was actually really nice. Uh, and it's just, it's just at the end of every run through the game, it kind of just unlocks a little bit more uh, for you. But it's in like kind of annoying because it's like, why don't you have some of the stuff in the first place? You ask yourself, and it's just like, I don't know why. Okay, I don't have a thousand nanites for the that missile, so we have to wait. Because it's literally you can look up some of the crafting combinations. Because I think I remember like during my, one of my first runs, I think I was trying to make either the iron can or something else, and I was like, I'm like, okay, I need this thing, I need this thing. Okay, I have all the components. Then I couldn't unlock it. I couldn't. I couldn't construct it, even though I had it. I'm like, why the fuck not? Well, it's because um, the the dev. I think the dev decided that you know it's like oh, you know to add more, I guess, replayability or something. You have to, I don't know, play through the game a bunch and then you unlock the recipe or something. The thing is, I don't even know what the recipes are without even looking at the wiki. But it's just you know, it's kind of like randomly during one run of the game, I'll be like, oh. You know, I want to try and... I look up something, I'm like, oh, I want to make that. I get the components and I can't make it. Like, wait, what if I was like... Oh, shit, that's a lot of guys. Okay, that guy died. It's like, what if, what if I was playing a run and I'm like... You know, I'm, I'm taking mental note of, like, everything I can make. Like, like I'm talking about someone smart who remembers things, not me. And, like, they're like, oh, you know, I, I have a, a smart gun and something else. And then, you know, I, I realize, oh, I don't think I can make anything with that. And then, like, later on, you're like, oh, wait, I could have made something, but for some reason the game locked it away from me. And I wasn't allowed to make it until, you know, until I played through the game enough. And you can't even work towards anything. It's just completely random what the fuck you get, you know? All right, let's make a concussion missile. 